Hey streamers, today I'm going to be showing you how to allow your regular users to broadcast on your WordPress website via the front end. So I'll be using the WP Bakery page builder, but you can also use the Elementor page builder by following the link above. And also make sure you like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with our latest content. As you can see, the first thing I did was actually install and activate the WP Stream plugin. And then I'm going to WP Stream credentials. And here you can either sign in if you already have an account or register. Once you have registered, you can go ahead and go back to the page and enter your details and save changes. Once connected, let's go to WP Stream settings. And under general options, you can edit the slug. You can also assign the non-admin user roles. So whether you want them to be editor, authors, etc. You can also pick whether you want it to be a free or pay-per-view channel. If it's a pay-per-view channel, you can also add a price and make sure you save your changes. After you've done this, let's go to plugins. And here you will make sure that you activate the WP Bakery page builder. After you've done that, you can go ahead and create a page. If you don't know how to do this, just check out one of the videos on YouTube. There are plenty out there. I've already created this page, front end live streaming. I'll click on edit with WP Bakery page builder. Click on add element and WP stream start streaming button. Now you will have to either enter a channel or product ID or leave this blank. If you leave this blank, what is going to happen is the first channel associated with this user will get assigned, or if they don't already have a channel, a new channel will be automatically created. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I assign a particular channel. You do this by going to WP stream channels and you scroll down to the channel that you want or alternatively create a new free channel. Make sure you check out one of our videos to find out how to do this. But I'm just going to copy this channel ID over here. So the 1094 and I will paste it right into that section. Then I will update the page and go back to see how it looks like. Now, the next thing I'm going to be doing is creating a new account as a regular user. So as a customer, just how you would normally create an account on a website. So here's an account, but if I now go to the front end live streaming page, so where I created the broadcast, you'll see that I am not allowed to broadcast. And that is because I am still a customer and I will need to become an editor. So to do this, you will have to go to your WP stream admin and go to users. So here you will find this user over here. So this is the account I just created and under the role, it's written that I am a customer to change this, click on edit and change from customer to editor or whatever role that you picked in the WP stream settings earlier. Make sure you update user. This is an important step. And now if you go back to the editor account, so the account that you created, you will see that you now have permission and you can start broadcasting. So simply click on start live event and your users can either go live from the browser or with an external broadcaster. I'm going to be using OBS studio. It is a free pro tool that you can use to broadcast live events. Click on settings stream and add the server and stream key from WP stream as I'm doing over here. Click on OK when you're done and start streaming. Go back and click on view channel and it will take you straight to the live broadcast. And this is how it looks like. So once your regular user is done broadcasting, they can simply go to OBS studio and click on stop streaming. Once they've done that, if they go back to the page, their live stream would have ended. And that is basically it on how to allow your regular users to broadcast on your WordPress website. They can do this with a free or pay-per-view channel 
and I have showed you how to do this with WP Bakery Page Builder. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and make sure you come back for more.